Well, welcome to Get Vision TV. And of course, we're here at the Miramar Cultural Center. And tonight is going to be an amazing night because we have an amazing event that's coming up. It is the premiere of the movie Destiny out of Jamaica. I'm so happy to be a part of this because I can tell you that Jamaica has been on the map already and now this is just going to take us further on the map. So stay tuned for some interviews with the leading cast members and of course this is courtesy of Rhythms Marketing and we're just happy to be here. Get Vision TV always on the move. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. I just got a letter from a lawyer in Jamaica about dad's real estate there. Yes, my brother bought that land years ago. Why, what's happened? I got an offer to sell the land. So, I'll be coming to Jamaica. Are you bringing Michael with you? No, he will be too busy. Gotta, 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 gotta get it, gotta get it. Of course. Gotta get it, gotta get it. Gotta, 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 gotta get it, gotta get it. <laughs> gotta get it, gotta get it. Dallas Afro. Gotta, 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 gotta get it, gotta get it. Gotta get it. That's why you're dancing with Sean. You know him? Lisa, everybody knows him. He's like the most popular artist in Jamaica right now. Is this the lawyer's office? The time I got pregnant, I was only sleeping with your father. I thought, come down here, sell the land that we own, and now I just got broadsided. In Jamaica. Tell me in Jamaica. I'm actually in Kingston. Michael has been here since yesterday. Do not destroy my house! Oh, you could have said something. Give me that money shot and let me give you that credit. I move my body like you might get in it. I throw it up, baby, run, come get it. Who oh, run, baby? Pick you up so I can get a whole day away from here. I don't think that's a good idea, Prince. Yeah, okay, uh, Lisa, thanks. So I I'll see you tomorrow. Dirty Prince, how old that? I'm a passenger. How old that? Hello? How much drunk are this? Champagne for my real friends. Real pain for my sham friends. <laughs> I want what's due to me, so give it to me. I'm me alone, I control my destiny. This me what's due to me. Well, welcome to Get Vision TV, and we're here at the premiere for the movie Destiny. And let me tell you, this movie is amazing. And we have with us this evening Miss Mary Bruce, who played such an important role in the production of this. Tell us a little bit about what you did, Mary. I was the line producer who worked with uh, Grasshopper Productions under the umbrella of Top Gong Pictures. Mm -hmm. So that was my role. That was basically taking the director's vision and working in the logistics and bringing it to life. So I made Jeremy's dream come true. Well, we all need someone, right? Tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are about the movie. This movie is an iconic creative expression of Jamaican culture. Um, as you know, as a Jamaican, music is an integral part of our culture. And what really rings home for any Jamaican that sees this film is not only the beauty of our country, because Jamaica was really actu actually a character in the film. Jamaica is a, a stunning being in this film. Mm -hmm. um, coupled with embracing all of the aspects of our culture, the comedy element, the romance element. You know, every man in Jamaica is a lover. Mm -hmm. And every man in Jamaica is a performer. So, you know, you have all of those um, elements coming together to really represent who we are. Um, it, any Jamaican who sees this film or anybody from the Caribbean will leave feeling proud of this product. I'm proud and I'm not seeing it yet and um, Tough Gong, Tough Gong's role in this. Tough Gong, we had the honor of being called by Grasshopper Productions. We have a, a small division called Tough Gong Pictures so we provide production services. So Jeremy Whitaker gave me a call and asked me if we would be interested in helping him produce the film. So I took on the role of line producer and Tough Gong brought Jeremy home. He actually had his production offices on site. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to organize logistics and meet and that was basically the heartbeat of the production at our offices. And it ended up evolving into um, also another realm where we took on distribution of the album. We have a partnership with Universal Records 
so Tough Gong is distributing the album. And the album, I mean, not only is the film a masterpiece, and I'm not just saying this because I'm from Tough Gong <laughs> and because I know Mr. Whitaker, but the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. Um, you're just going to have to see it and hear it for yourself. It's really good. Well, we're proud people tonight, and I'm just waiting to, to, to see it. And we just want to say thanks because, you know, we all need all hands on board, on deck. So Definitely. you really did a good job. And I'm just, I, I saw the trailer and I'm just amazed at what really came from that. So thank you very much. What would you say to Rhythms Marketing tonight? Oh, to Rhythms Marketing, we definitely want to give you a big thank you for really rolling out the red carpet and welcoming, welcoming this film to the US. Um, this is a catalyst for everything that's going to happen for this film worldwide so we're, we're premiering tonight for the u.s and then we're going to be heading up to the uk on july 24th so to rhythms thank you for um helping us birth in america there he is Mr. Eddie Edwards. thank you so much right. thank you <laughs> well welcome back to get vision tv and we have one of the cast members with us and he doesn't want to smile because he's the bad guy in the movie <laughs> that's not true <laughs> but michael yes tell us a little about michael not linden we want to hear okay. about michael now all right michael in the movie michael is is the bad guy like you said um he's the antagonist he's really a guy that has everything everything you want in life he lives in toronto he lives in a condo he has all the girls, he has all the cars, all the money. And he also has Lisa, who is our hero or star. Um, Lisa's pretty much over it. <laughs> Lisa's done. Um, you know, she's tired of his games and things like that. She has to go to Jamaica to kind of tie up some loose ends with her family. Um, her parents passed away. She has to go and deal with some things. And uh, she goes on there. She meets a certain somebody, Christopher Martin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> his name is, is Sean in the movie. Um, you know, things happen with them. Michael's not happy. We were actually engaged, and he goes to Jamaica to get her and uh, bring her back, bring her home. And, you know, you have to tune in to see what happens. It's, it's so, Michael is a rude boy <laughs> from Toronto yeah. and goes to Jamaica as yeah. a rude boy? I mean, I mean he's, he's, not, he's not so much a rude boy, he's like a money man, you know, he moves around, you know, and he does his thing uh, and, and he gets everything he wants. But then Lisa is the one thing that he comes across that is not going his way and it just kind of sends him over the edge. Yeah, that's, he's not going to have that. No, he's not having it. He's not, by all means, he's not having it. <laughs> so he has to make it, he has to, you know, get things right. So he goes down there to get her and I don't want to give away too much we're gonna no. see the movie in a bit so you know tune in how does your your you as a person transcend into the character you know what um, I like I'd like to think I'm a nice guy <laughs> I'm a nice guy um, Michael is really he's a jerk to be honest um, but you know, sometimes deep down inside, you have that, that you kind of want to let trip. loose. <laughs> but you can't but that, do it in like actual life, you know? So it, it was cool getting to let loose and go way over the top. And you kind of have to find, because there's like, there's good in everybody, even yeah. if you are bad. You have to find what's making him react to what's happening. What's the good in him that's making him react in such a bad way? And that was kind of a journey, and I got to explore that, and you know, it was good. As we close, what would you say to Jeremy? To Jeremy, the director? Yeah. I've said enough to Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so much of Jeremy, um, but I mean, job well done. You know, this is, I mean, it's longest running movie in Jamaica, a uh, Jamaican movie in Jamaica, so that's amazing. He's breaking down boundaries. He's made history, so. When I signed on, I did not expect it to be, I didn't expect it to be here right now. Uh, so, I mean, job well done, you know? Round of applause. <laughs> well, we look forward to what's gonna happen. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, welcome back to Get Vision TV, and of course, we're here at the movie premiere for Destiny. 
it's a movie about my island country that I love so much, Jamaica. Well, it's really set in Jamaica. And we have with us the man that's going to get us the ching, 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 the money, Mr. Dog Shrub. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Uh, we're a, uh, a local, actually a local distributor, a national distributor. We distribute uh, a lot of films. Uh, we've distributed 800 movies in the last 18 years. We have a library of about 400 films. And we're all about getting young filmmakers to the next level, letting them be seen, letting their work be seen, and uh, basically building a resume for them. So many films get made where people don't get distribution, and this is one of the rare cases where we see a film hey, that's a great film, we think there's an underserved audience, we'd love to be involved and put it out. So you, you saw the film already, I'm sure. Well, I saw the film already, it's a great film, but what's more interesting is, you know, I'm more in the aspect of the business part of it, so Jeremy Whitaker of Grasshopper Productions uh, tracked me down, came to our office, we had a meeting, and um, he won me over. He's a very talented guy. You can tell he's a rising star. He's going to be really a great filmmaker. And I love to latch on to a, a, a rising star, somebody that's drive like this. So many people talk about doing things, but they never really do it. Right. They say, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do it, but they never really make it happen. This is, this is a testament to Jeremy's hard work. He has his own screening. He's having premieres around the country. This is the U.S. premiere. I love to be associated with people like that. And uh, we think that we're going to get the film into a lot of places for him, like Walmart and Redbox and iTunes and Netflix and everywhere else. So we're, we're very excited about it. We, 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 we think the movie is, very, is quality and something that everybody should see. What would you say to our Jamaicans living in the U.S. about this film? I, I would think that it, it's, it speaks very loudly that it's an underserved genre. Yeah. It's a film about relationships. Uh, so much so that, you know, of course Jamaicans are going to see it, but I think people of any race should see it because it's a relationship right. film. It's about love. It's about, you know, uh, antagonists. It's about can this relationship stay together. It's about destiny, and I think that translates to everybody. So I, I, I don't like to put a movie in a box, so to speak, but I think that for Jamaicans, it's definitely something to say, hey, I take pride in. It's filmed in Jamaica. It's theatrical. But I want to make it, I want to raise the Jamaican flag and help let everybody see it across the country. So you're happy to be a part of this team? I'm very, very happy to be a part of the team because, quite honestly, Jeremy could have picked a lot of people. He could have picked anybody. And then we clicked, and we had a really nice partnership and a chemistry when we met. And I'm going to do all I can to, to help this film get seen and get him to the next level. If I do a great job, one day Jeremy will be getting calls from Warner Brothers and Fox, and he won't take my call anymore. <laughs> that means I did a good job. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't think so, but um, thank you. Thank you so much, and I and I and I know. I'm not gonna say I believe. I know that this is gonna do great things because just the trailer, the little bit of the trailer that I saw, it's amazing. And um, I know it's now PG, and, and I'm I'm just thanking God for what's happening with Jamaica. And it's not just about Jamaica. It's it's about relationships. So everybody needs to really watch this. If you're in a relationship, you really need to watch this. Thank you so much. And um, how can they find you? Well. Um our company is Maverick Entertainment. Our website's uh, www.maverickentertainment.cc, not .com, but .cc. We're in Deerfield Beach. Uh, we, we're easily found. You can see our films anywhere. If you just search Maverick Entertainment or Doug Schwab, I'll pop up. Just Google us. Thank you so much. And we're looking for great things with you, your partnership with Jeremy. Thank you so much. Well, welcome back to Get Vision TV, and we're here at the city of Miramar. And let me tell you something. We are at the premiere for the movie Destiny, and this could not have been possible without the city's involvement. And we have Vice Mayor Yvette Coburn with us this evening, and she's going to tell us why she said yes to doing this. How are you doing? I am doing fine. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure. I am very pleased to be able to be part of the premiere of Destiny here in, in the city of Miramar. Um, for us, the city of Miramar, we are a very diversified mm -hmm. uh, community and we have a large Jamaican population. And we want to make sure that, that all our population knows that, that they are welcome here in the Cultural Arts Center. 
and in, for us to bring a, a film that's produced by Jamaica right. in Jamaica <laughs> to a city like Miramar where we have so many Jamaicans, it right. is a great pleasure. Um, I also know that some of the profits are going to a non-profitable charitable organization, non-profit charitable organization. So I am so pleased to participate and be part of something like that. To me, that's great. That's a, that's a big deal to me. What would you say to Rhythms Marketing? Wow, Rhythms Marketing, he's such a great partner in the community. So I say thank you for having the insight to bring bring this movie here in, in to Miramar. When he came to me and he, he brought the idea to me, um, I knew right away it was going to be good. You know, I know uh, Mr. Edwards, Eddie does an awesome job and when he puts his heart into something and he brings it, it's always something good. So I knew it was going to be good. And the smiles on everybody's faces and the director is here, the cast members are here. It's really a good evening and, and, and I'm just so happy. See, I'm representing in my colors, of course, because, you know, I, I feel proud. You know, you know, sometimes there are so many negativity surrounding our island of Jamaica and when you see something as good as this coming out of our country there's no way that I could not stand here and just represent so you know thank you so much and um, the city of Miramar always looks out for our country and I, and I really want to say to you thanks and continue to serve you know I'm sure that's what you do best and you know how are you feeling tonight I am so excited. I am very excited to be here and to be part of this premiere. I mean, it could have been anywhere, but it's here in Florida and it's in Miramar. And, and to be the vice mayor of a city like this, um, so many Jamaicans, so many West Indians in general, and to have a film that represents so many of us right here in Jamaica, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. It's just very wonderful. I am excited. I live in the city of Coral Springs. Can we get it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but thank you so much. You, you guys are doing a great job, and we just want to say to you thanks you know, for representing, for continuing to keep the legacy of Jamaica alive all over the country, and especially here in the city of Miramar. So thank you so much, Vice Mayor, and all the best to you as you serve the community and the country. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. <laughs>
MGM and everybody else will be calling. So do you want to say something to Doug at this time? No, I'm, you know, we're grateful for Doug. As I tell Doug every every time we discuss this, it's a partnership. You know, it was, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, a, I'm hiring him as a distributor. I mean, we're not working. It's a partnership, you know, so uh, we look forward to, to, to a tremendous success through that partnership and um, actually getting the getting the product out, getting the DVDs out when it comes out uh, or to the people, you know. So at, at the end of the day, it's just basically getting everybody, giving everybody a chance to see the movie, whether they're here in theaters, watching it here in theaters, or whether they buy it on Netflix or buy it on DVD. Uh, it's, it's working with different people and establishing those relationships to get it to the people, to the masses as well, you know. Well, I just want to say thanks to you for bringing it here to yeah. Florida, you know, to the city of Miramar, because you could have been otherwise minded, and for you to 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 think this run to have it here is amazing, and um, and we're thankful because anything that we can do to get our country to the next level and get the the, the Caribbean on a whole, we're living in the U.S. and yeah. you're from Canada, right? Yeah. Well, Jamaican Canada. Yeah, I'm from Jamaica. I I, I live in Toronto now. You know, so uh, it's it's yes, yeah, it's just a blessing. I think we we chose we chose Miramar as. As a, as a place where you know they have a high level of Jamaican diaspora or Caribbean diaspora. Uh, New York's mad with us right now. <laughs> New York's mad, but you know we're working hard to get it to everybody. You know? So we're gonna be re releasing it theatrically um, in New York, uh, in, in, in Brooklyn, Queens. Uh, we'll be releasing it in DC, Atlanta, um, Chicago, Toronto, and then we're also going over to UK. Right, I, a birdie told me that you're going to UK on July, in July. No, it's a little bit earlier. It's not July, the birdie, what? Tell me the month. It's in May, we're going to UK in May. Oh, so okay. we'll be there next month. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So so this is going to high heights and deeper. That's, that is so good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. A lot of work. A lot of work. But we have a great team, you know, and everybody's working together to make it happen. You know, so and everybody's excited, you know, and I can't ask for better. Yeah, I spoke with Michael, and Michael is the bad guy. He says, but he's such a cutie and a nice guy. But you know what? He says his, his character transcends into into um, the, the, the real the real Michael. But yeah. what would you say as we close to the audience? What would you say to the audience? Well, I'd say, you know, watch Destiny. You know, you might be, I think they'll be pleasantly surprised at the quality, uh, the acting, the music, the soundtrack. We have a great soundtrack as well. And I think that um, you know it, it, it's it's a it's a story that shows the best Jamaican or Caribbean selves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To your cast members, I'm sure that you love them. Yeah, I do. I think um, the cast, the ensemble cast, did a great job. Uh, we have uh, IT in there, Miss Kitty. Um, we have a blend of of, of Jamaican per media personalities, Debbie Basum. Then we have a blend of Jamaican entertainers that are the first time acting, but they did a great job with Spice, Christopher Martin, Martin yeah. you know, and then uh, we have actors that people haven't, aren't familiar with, like Lyndon, who plays Michael, uh, Sabrina Kolai from New York, she's also Jamaican. And then we have veteran actors from Jamaica, like Munir Zaka, mm -hmm. Nadine Rollins, um, Christopher Hutchinson, that people know in Jamaica through plays and, right, and TV right. shows and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it's a well-rounded cast. You know, I think everybody did a great job. Everybody brought their A-game, and I'm very proud of them. Well, we're proud of you, and we thank you. And um, I can't wait to see it. I am just so excited. So, Jeremy, big things are going to happen for you. Big things are going to go on. See you there. <laughs>
tell us a little bit about Debbie in the movie. Well, Debbie in the movie, I actually play myself. I'm a media personality back in Jamaica, and I played the interviewee for um, the artist, Christopher Martin, who was actually shown in the movie. I'm releasing his new single. It was good, the chemistry on set was very good, because Chris is a good friend of mine from working in Big Yard back in the day. So um, it's very good to see how far the movie you know, has gotten to, and also how far it has grown. You know, And being here in Miami, premiering it is really a pleasure and an honor. You are no longer in media on that side of the fence. No, Who no. are you now? <laughs> so I'm in freelance media. Yes, I still do entertainment, um, presenting and producing as well. But right now, in terms of you know stability, nine to five kind of thing, I'm the brand manager for the Mali Group of companies um, in Jamaica. And uh, of course, as you know, Top Gang Pictures, they're co-producers of the film, and also Top Gang International, were the ones who are distributing, you know, on behalf of Destiny, the film through Universal Caroline. So um, we're playing a, a number of roles inside inside the entire production how do you feel about the film yourself let me tell you something where you talk to your glad box your glad box boss <laughs> that is me right now my glad bag boss and a turnover when i look at all of the cast members who are not not everybody has some kind of experience in acting or in film but just the projection on screen you would never ever tell you know and you're talking about popular people in the entertainment industry and Jamaican industry people who can you know you can identify with them because you've seen them the Miss Kitty the Tiffa the Christopher Martin you know the IT so there are people that people can look on the screen and laugh at because of what you know what they're doing it's out of their capacity as you normally see them but just to have a movie shot in Jamaica premiering in the US to be shown at several several uh, theaters across the US is in and of itself a dream you know and I must come in Grasshopper Productions Jeremy Whitaker and of course Marie Bruce and the entire team for doing such a wonderful work as the Gleaner did say this is revolutionizing film in Jamaica Glory. and the Caribbean <laughs> you know so we're, we're a part of the revolution it is an honor and it's history it's history in the making you know, I, I, you're just, I, you know what, I, I, <laughs> listen to me, you just, you, listen, what time is, I, I need to go watch it now. Watch no, it. I mean, honestly, I mean, you just, oh, yes. you, you know what, Caribbean that's why I have to represent, yes. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Debbie, you know, it's such a pleasure, and um, I know great things is going to happen for this movie, because just everyone that I've interviewed and I've spoken to and the trailers that I saw as I was telling Jeremy it's just popping out yeah. at you and you just feel like I want to see this I want to be a part of this I just don't want this to go and yeah. I don't have a piece in this to this miss, is amazing to miss is really to this and All we right. say buy it and watch it don't burn it okay support the local people watch it and don't burn the people them something yeah <laughs> as we close what would you say to Rhythms Marketing to Rhythms Marketing, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations on what you have been doing. It is definitely an honor for all of us to be a part of this historic occasion. So keep doing what you're doing. Debbie, yeah. trust me. Thank you, Madam. You want to watch it? Yeah, Even, watch it yes. <laughs> God bless you. And I thank you for this interview and I just know just even the energy that you have right here. So I can't wait to see it. Yes. Thank you so it much. Well, welcome to Get Vision TV, and we have with us Sabrina. We're here at the movie premiere of Destiny. How are you, Sabrina? I'm well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Tell me about Sabrina in the movie. Well, Sabrina plays the character called Mystic, and Mystic is basically a girl next door. She lives in Jamaica, and she's hosting her cousin, Lisa, who lives in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know, giving her tough love, showing her around the place, and basically taking her on the journey that eventually becomes her destiny. It's more like a romantic comedy situation. Yeah. Did you like the movie? Really, really, honestly? No, I did. I did. I did. It was very layered. There was like a whole bunch to play with. Um, Paul Beale and Jeremy gave us a lot to work with in terms of developing characters and a lot of dialogue and they allowed us to make it our own and all of that. So it was a great experience, yeah. Where do you actually live? I live in New York. I'm from Mandeville, but I live in New York. That's where I'm based, yeah. So why do you think they chose you for this part? 
Well, quite logistic. The, I mean, the most important thing is I needed to look like the main character's cousin. So they had to find somebody that kind of looked like they could have passed for cousin. Right. But um, Jeremy actually Googled and found me online and he looked at some of my YouTube videos and that's where it happened. <laughs> so what do you do? Tell them what you do. What do I do? Like in life, do? I'm an actor. I moved to the US to be an actor professionally. Yeah. I've been acting since I was five, which I won't tell you how many years that is because I look younger than I actually am. And my mother is a drama teacher at Manchester High and we've been just doing theatre. I've been doing theatre all my life and then I moved here to do film as well. Yeah. Well, as we close, what would you say to Jeremy? I would say congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you, know, you know what I meant by that. Yeah, congratulations. He pushed so hard. He persevered. And basically what I told him in the car was he should put up a little, you know, that little arm thing that I think I can train because it's been very hard for him and he's pushed to give this film legs. I think I can. I think I can. And he should just continue and see how far we can go with this film. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sabrina. I am just, I can't wait. So we're getting ready to go in. Get Vision TV. Thank you so much to my viewers. I'm just loving this. The energy is good. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, let me tell you, this was an amazing, amazing, amazing night. Wow. Words can't express how I feel about this movie premiere. And of course, Get Vision TV was here. We did our thing. I hope you enjoy every single interview that you saw and you know how to reach us. GetVisionTV.com, 954-465-1881. Let's do your next event for you, Destiny to the World. Of course, thanks again to all the people that were involved with Rhythms Marketing and Mr. Eddie Edwards and his team. You really made this one possible. Thank you again, Get Vision TV. If you can't get it, you can't realize it.